Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 27 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to merge files based on file name pattern using Azure Data Factory pipeline. So let's see the requirement in details. So in my ADLS account, I have few files. Okay, th these are CSV files, but if you see at the end, we don't have CSV extension. It is CSV underscore one, CSV underscore two. So these are not actually a valid extension. Okay, so don't worry about the extension right now. And if you see the file names, these two files are having uh, data underscore zero underscore zero underscore zero. Okay, so there are three zeros in this in these two files. Okay, and after that, it has dot sales and then dot csv underscore the number so basically these two belong to one single category because it has similar pattern 000 and then if you see the next set of files it has data underscore 010 so if you see the middle number is different okay and these two are same so these two belong to one category so this is first file of this category and second file of this category okay similarly this is the third set and these two belong to same category because if you see the middle pattern number is two okay so our requirement is we need to merge the files based on their file name pattern so wherever these pattern are matching then we have to merge these two files and we have to create a single output file with the name as uh, data underscore 000 dot sales dot csv okay so the invalid extension that we have in the source file that should be removed and it should be having csv as the extension and the data in these two files should be merged into a single file so suppose this file has two records and this file has one record then after merging it should have three records in this output file okay Similarly, we have to merge these two files together and we have to convert it into this output file. And as I said, if this file is having suppose 10 records and this is having two records, then in total, this file should have 12 records. Okay. okay. So I'm just giving an example to elaborate. And similarly, these two files should be merged together into a single file and that should be named as data underscore zero to zero. Okay because if you see the pattern of these two files is same that is 0 to 0 okay so let me clear all this so now let's go to azure portal to implement the same using adf pipeline before that let me show you the input files so all the files are present in this demo folder okay so as you can see these are all the files and if i try to open any of these files you will see this error called the file may not render correctly as it contains an unrecognized extension the reason behind this error is that it is not a valid extension it should be dot csv but it is having underscore one underscore two like that okay and since our requirement is to merge the files based on the pattern so the files which needs to be merged together should have common schema okay so if you see the first file and the second file should have common schema that is similar schema okay if you see uh, it has one two three four five six seven seven uh, columns okay and if i go to this second file so here also one two three four five six seven okay so the number of columns are same as well as the column names and order of the columns are also same so these two files are eligible to be merged together Similarly, just make sure that the files having common file name pattern should have similar schema as well. Okay, so if I see this file, this is having column names as player name, player age. Okay, there are only two columns. So let me check in this one as well. So here as well, player name and player age. So we are good. Similarly, make sure that the other set of files are having same schema. ID name department is the column names. And if I see in this one, ID name department. So we are good to create a pipeline to merge these data or these files together based on the file name patterns. Okay. So let me go to ADF portal and let me start creating a pipeline. And I'm just going to drag a copy activity. 
let me minimize this one and here in the source we will create a data set pointing to the folder which has all the input files and here let me select csv although the source file is not having correct extension or correct format still i will go ahead with csv and let me select the existing linked service and let me point to the folder that is demo fold okay that is demo folder okay now let me click on okay so for all the files as you saw first row is a header if we don't check this uh, first row as header then what will happen is after merging uh, there will be duplicate column names okay so there will be two set of headers okay if we would have three files with the same pattern then then in the merged output file it will have three headers okay if we don't check this first row as header and i don't want to import schema and now let me go ahead by clicking on ok and now in file path type instead of file path in data set i'll go ahead with wildcard file path so that we can avoid creation of multiple copy activities for merging different set of files into output files so here is the place where we need to write the wildcard file pattern okay so by default it is star let me remove it and let me click on this add dynamic content to create the wildcard file pattern let me copy one of the file names and let me paste it here so this is one file name but we need to change it to a file pattern okay so for that wherever we want it to be dynamic we will remove the hard coded value and we will make it dynamic okay so uh, the only changes in these sets of file names is in the middle number okay so what i will do is i will remove this hard coded number and instead of that we will provide a parameter so that whenever we debug this pipeline we will be able to provide value for this number okay so we can directly create the pipeline parameter by clicking on this plus option okay so here let me give the parameter name as param and uh, i'm not going to give any default value here let me save and here you can see it is appearing now and the other way to create the pipeline parameter is let me click on ok so here once you click on this white canvas here you can see the pipeline parameter option and here you can click on this new option to create the parameter okay so now let me go back and here instead of this hard coded value let me remove this and let me click on this param option so you can see it has created one expression from here to here and also it has given this at the rate symbol by default it goes at the starting of the expression let me remove from there and let me put it here and then i will use brackets to convert it into string so this is called string interpolation so basically at the rate along with this curly braces is called string interpolation okay so we are good while debugging the pipeline we need to provide the value for this middle number and this is pointing to one of the files here okay and now we have to give a pattern for the end number as well so instead of 1 and 2 here instead of hard coding i am just giving star so that it will take all the files belonging to a particular pattern so we are good let me click on ok now let me go to the sync settings and here let me create another data set that will be pointing to output folder okay so here let me create a container called merge output files okay and in the file name we have to provide a dynamic value so we have to create a parameter in the data set level so we will do that in the data set don't worry about it and in the sync as well i am going to leave this first row as header and no need to import schema let me click on ok and let me reopen this data set to create a parameter for the file name so let me give the parameter name as file name and here let me point to that parameter okay so it has auto generated this expression and now we have to provide the value for this parameter in the pipeline level so you can see this par uh, parameter name is appearing here and uh, we have to give the value for the file name that will be created after merging the set of files okay so how we want the output file to look like let me go back to presentation so you can see output file name should be similar to the uh, file name present in the input till this point but we need the file extension to be .csv itself okay no need of the uh, underscore and the number okay so 
for that let me first copy this pattern okay wildcard file pattern and let me click on ok let me go back here let me paste it and we will just remove underscore and star so while debugging if we give zero for the parameter value then the file name for the output file will be data underscore zero 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 dot sales dot csv so we are good now let me click on ok and now if you see in order to merge the files we have to select the copy behavior as merge files okay so now we are good to run the pipeline let me hit on the debug option and here in the param value for the first run let me give zero as the value so that we will be able to uh, merge the first set of data so let's wait for this pipeline execution to be completed yeah so the pipeline execution is completed let's go back to the storage account and here let me hit on refresh so that we will be able to see the output folder or output container let me go inside this so you can see the output file name is data underscore zero 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 dot sales dot csv which means we are able to merge the first set of files so if we see the data uh, here we are able to see the data let's compare let me uh, duplicate this tab so that we can see uh, the input as well as the output file yeah so for one of the tabs let me open the uh, input files so if we compare so this is the input file so we have the first file which is having four rows as you can see four rows are appearing but on top of that we have the fifth row as well okay so here if i see this is having one row okay this is what is merged and it is accommodated in the single file okay so when the merging of files is happening in the adf it does not have the control over the order of the files okay so it has taken the second file as first and then it has given the records of first file okay so don't worry about it and now you can see there is no error in the output file earlier we were able to see this error which said we are not able to render this file but this is not having any error so this is a valid file in the output okay and as we saw this is the merged data of two files which are having same or common pattern so we are good with the first run similarly let me run or debug this pipeline for a second set of data where the middle number is one okay so let it get executed and we will make sure that the output should be correct so in the first file we have two rows and in the second file we have one row so in total we should be able to see three rows in the output file okay so the pipeline execution is completed for the second file or second uh, run as well so you can see the second file has appeared where the middle number is one and if you see we have in total three records which is the combination of the two files that we saw now similarly if i run for the third set of file which is having two as the middle number so if i go back and if we see the content so here you can see mark and sam and in the second file we have tom so in the output file uh, once the completion is done uh, of pipeline execution yeah it's completed let's check the output so you can see third file is also appearing which is merged uh, data of the two files which we just saw so we have achieved the desired output of merging the files based on the patterns and for that we have used only single copy activity but we have actually ran it three times because we had three set of files suppose you have thousands of files then it is practically not possible to run it thousand times so then what we can do is we can cut this copy activity and we can use for each activity and here in the settings in items we can define an array of 0 1 and 2 okay but then again if you have thousand sets of files then it is difficult to create this array itself so for that we have something called range function okay so if you see here range generates an array of integers starting from a certain number till the defined length okay so if we give range of 3 comma 4 
then the output will be an array starting with three up to four numbers okay so if we have thousand set of files then we can give at the rate range let me give range and then we can give zero till thousand okay but in our case we just have three set of files which is zero one and two so starting with zero we have to get three numbers so here i can give three as the number so the output it will give is i'm just writing it here so the output it will give is zero one comma two okay so starting with zero it will give three numbers in total so let me remove this so you just need to change this number in order to generate the array from zero to thousand okay so we are good now let me hit on okay and here inside for each i will paste the copy activity which we had just cut so we are good let me remove these files from the output uh, container and we will rerun this pipeline which we just modified let me go back here and we just don't need this parameter anymore and wherever we made use of this parameter in the copy activity we will just remove it and we will use item instead of this pipeline parameter okay so let me remove this at the rate and let me give it here so item will basically give 0 1 2 1 by 1 that means for the first run it will give 0 for second run it will give 1 for third run it will give 2 okay so the, it will be creating three instances of copy activity inside for each so let me copy this and similarly we will paste the same here in the sync instead of pipeline parameter we will use at the rate item so we are good let me hit on okay and now we are good to run this pipeline so i am debugging so we will be seeing three copy activity instances so you can see all of them are running in parallel and we will be able to see the output results as well okay so you can see three files got generated which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, which is expected okay as you can see these are the uh, files and and the output file got generated because pipeline execution is completed so uh, let's validate the uh, content as well again so if we see the first file here we have uh, seven columns and four rows in the second file we have uh, one row so in total five rows we are exp expecting for this uh, first pattern that is 000 so you can see it is correct and now for the second one let me go here in the input container so you can see two rows and two columns and here we have one row so in total so in total three rows should be appearing in this one okay so it is good similarly if we see this pattern so it has two rows mark and sam and this one has tom so here we should be seeing mark sam tom okay so all of them has been merged as desired okay so we are able to achieve this requirement one by one by running three times the same pipeline and we have seen it by running only once with the help of for each activity as well so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you